everyone. In today's video, we will be covering the cases where all the corners are oriented correctly from the speed solving wiki. And there's three of these. There's ones where you have all of your edges aren't oriented, but all your corners are. You have one where two adjacent edges aren't oriented correctly and all your corners are. Or you have two opposite edges are not oriented correctly and all your corners are. So these are the three cases we're going to cover today and we will learn them a little differently than we have been learning them. They're very in-move heavy, but I do have some alternatives in case you don't like the in-moves. So let's get started. The first case we're going to cover is case number 20 from the speed solving wiki. And in none of these cases you have to learn a left hand side for. There's only one version of it. And for this case, there is, it's a pretty M heavy move. So we're not actually going to learn, take a pair out and then reinsert it. We're going to learn a set of moves. And it's basically an algorithm, but we're going to break that out down into uh, six sets of moves uh, in order to solve this case. And, and visually, it's not very intuitive to show you. We're going to do seven sets of moves, and they're all going to comprise of two moves. So we will either have a U middle, a middle middle, or a U prime middle. So the middle will always be towards you and the U will either be this way or this way. So basically what we're gonna do is we're going to do a set of two moves three times. We're gonna do an M2 and then we're gonna do the opposite set of those two moves three times. And what those two moves are is you're going to do your middle slice and your middle slices are always towards you. So middle slice and then we're going to do U prime and we're gonna do that three times. So to start, we're going to do middle, U prime, middle, U prime, middle, U prime. And then we're going to do a double middle move. And then we're going to do the opposite of that. So we're going to do a U middle, U middle, U middle. So again, it's this three of those, and then two middles. And then the opposite of a middle U prime is a U middle. So U middle, U middle, U middle. And, or M, M move. So again, we're going to do a M U prime three times. We're going to, to do an M2, and then we're going to do a U M three times. And that will solve this case, so it doesn't matter how you orient it. In this case, in particular, it's easy to determine what case you're going to get, because basically all it's doing is flipping corners. Um, but we'll go over that in a second. So again, we're going to do a middle U prime, and you can do this, you can start with U primes, or you can start with U's, it doesn't matter as long as the second set of MU's are the opposite. So you can M, U prime, M, U prime, M, U prime, and then two middle moves, and then the opposite of what you did previously, so now we're doing U, and U, M, U, M, U, and that solves that case. So you can do it the other way around too, so you can do an M, U, M, U, M, U, two M's, and then U prime, M. So that will also solve it. It just depends on you know what you're more comfortable with doing. So one more time we're just going to do an M and then a top move. So we'll start with M top move, M top move, M top move, and then we'll do M M and then top M top M top M. So that top just rotates the direction. But M top move, M top move, M top move, two M's, and then top M, top M, top M. So what that actually looks like on the cube is it doesn't matter how you orient it. M, U prime, M, U prime, M, U prime, and then double M, and then the opposite, and that solves your case. You just have to understand that you're doing a set of two moves, and then two M moves, and then another set of two moves, and you're doing the, the sets three times, and then your M slices, and then the opposite version of it. So it doesn't matter if you start on the right or the left, it still works. And in particular, this ALG is easy to recognize if you get a PLL skip, because literally all it's doing is flipping corners upside down. So this corner will be flipped upside down, or you know, it'll flip them like this. So here's your blue, here's your red, here's your green, and here's your orange. So if you if you see this, you know that this one will flip here, and this one will flip here, and this one will flip here, and this one will flip here. So it doesn't it doesn't move any of your corners, and all it does is flip your edges upside down. So it's easy to tell if you kind of look and think about it for a second, what PLL you're going to get, because all it's doing is flipping these upside down. So you can imagine that this is full OLL. These colors are just on the side here, and then you can kind of determine what PLL that you're going to get. And how you would execute this, basically what we're going to do is we're going to do M, U prime, M, U prime, M, U prime, 
and then your M2s, I always do an M and then an M here because that's setting you up for your U versions. So now you have a U, M, U, M, U, M. So again, it's three of these and then a So again, and you can, once you get the timing down on it, it's, it's a pretty quick out to do. And the reason I use two middle flexes is because we're, we're going from a left hand to a right hand, so it's easy, it's an easier transition to do. You can middle, 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 and then double, and then just continue right into your other one. So. That's how you would execute that. We're, we're basically doing a an, an M move with this hand and a U move with this hand, and then by the time we get to the other version, we're doing M moves with this hand and U moves with this this hand. So this hand is doing my M moves initially, and then I convert this over to now this hand's doing the M moves, and this one's doing the top moves and at speed. The next one we're going to cover is case number 57 from the speed solving wiki. And this case is where you have two opposite edges not oriented correctly. So you either have these two, or these two, or all four. So this one's case number 57. And there's two ways to do this. There's an M version and a non-M version of it. And the M version is almost exactly like the case 20 that we just went over. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to do our three M moves, and then an M2, and then we're just going to continue doing the same set of U prime moves. So instead of doing the opposite direction on the second round, we're going to do the same same direction on the second round. So we will orient it like this, so your two edges are opposite from each other on the left and the right. And then we're going to do our three middle move top moves, and then we'll do two middle moves. And then we'll just keep doing our U middle, U middle, U middle. So the only difference between that is your U primes don't change. So the, it's the exact same alloc, but your U-primes don't change. So in the previous one, we would do three of these and then flip over to this one. Well, we're not going to do that anymore. We'll just continue on this side. And that will flip these two pieces. So again, we'll do our M U prime M U prime M U prime and then M2. And then instead of doing U's now, we'll just do U-primes. And that solves that case. So that's the M version of it. And I used that for a while, but there's another way to solve this case that's relatively easy to do. And basically what we're going to do is if you orient it like this, so you have them kind of up and down on the front and the back, what we're going to do is we're going to take this pair out, and then we're going to move our whole piece up. So we're going to do kind of a weird fat sledgehammer. So we're going to move this whole row up, sledgehammer this piece into place, and then move this row back down. So again, that was take this pair out, and then perform a, a fat move on this entire block, and then we're going to sledgehammer this piece into this slot, and then undo our fat move. So we'll sexy move, fat, sledgehammer, unfat. Sexy move, fat, sledgehammer, unfat. So this is a mostly rigorous alg, and that solved this case like this. So we'll take that pair out, and then we'll lift this whole side, and then you can see that if we, or, you know, it's, it's oriented like this now, but if we orient it like this, this is just a sledgehammer into this slot. So we'll sledgehammer into that slot, and then move down, and that solves that case. So take this pair out, lift the whole side back, sledgehammer in, and then undo your fat move. So sexy move, fat, sledgehammer, undo your fat. Solves this case in this orientation, and this is the one I've been using. Though I used to use the M slice one for a while, but I just think it's a little inconsistent. And this one is pretty quick, and you can do it completely regardless. So how you would execute that, or how you would finger trick this, is you can pull this pair out, and then here I'm putting my back finger on this middle slice. So when I move up, and then we're sledgehammering this piece into place and then we're just moving it back down. So you can so you can take this pair out, sledgehammer it in, and down. So it's a very kind of fast alg, 
it takes a little bit to get used to, but once you get it, it's it's pretty quick, and it's uh, I think it's a little easier to remember because it's take a pair out, sledgehammer, and, and reinsert. So you take a pair out, you all you're doing is you're moving this whole section back a little bit, so you can sledgehammer without messing this pair up. So we'll take this out, sledgehammer, and then insert it. And at speed. The last all corners oriented case from the wiki is the one where you have two adjacent edges not oriented correctly. And this one's actually extremely simple to do. Basically what we're doing is we're going to take an edge out. So instead of taking a pair out, we're going to take an edge out. And how we do that is we do, we do it with an M slice. So if you M slice, move the top layer and then undo your M slice, basically all you're doing is you're taking this edge piece out. Well, part of your cross, but it's still just an edge piece. So what we'll do is we'll do the back version of it. So we're going to take this back piece out here by pushing up, moving over, and then our finger's still sitting right here, so we're just going to pull back. And then once this is out, we're going to move it to this position or the opposite side, and then we're going to reinsert it the same way we took it out. So we'll do another end move, move it back into position, and then undo your end move to solve it. And that will solve this case. And in order for this to work, you have to orient it where one of your pieces is facing you and this piece is facing on the right or the left. And how we're going to take the piece out is once you have your piece facing you, if this is on the right hand side, we're going to take our middle piece out and move it over and put it on the right hand side. If it was like this, where this is facing you and this is over here, then we would take this piece out and move it over there. And then perform the U2 and then reinsert like that. So for this, since it's over here, we're going to point this facing us. Wherever it's at, we're going to point this facing us and then we're going to take this piece out, move it to the other side, and then reinsert it, and that solves that case. So again, here's our case. If it's sitting like this, you put one of them towards you, and the other one, we're going to take our middle piece out and put it where the other one is. So we'll take this piece out with an end move, move it over, and then fix your cross, and then we're going to put this on the other side with the U2, and then we're just going to reinsert it like we just took it out and that solves that case. And how we execute this one is I always do it from this angle. So even if it's here, I'll move it over here. I'm just more comfortable doing it on, on this side. And basically what we're gonna do is I, it's a regripless algorithm, but it requires me to move my arm a little bit. So uh, in order to get the end move down correctly, because normally your, your uh, ring finger sits right here and you have to put it underneath this one. So I rotate just a little bit so I can easily push up and down because you're doing this twice. So you want to be in a good position to be able to do that. And so I remove just a little bit, push it up, pull it over the way, or pull this piece out of the way, and then your finger's sitting right here, so you just pull it back down, and then U2 with this hand, because you're doing your M moves with this hand, so you U2 with this one. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pull up, pull over, and down. Now, once you, if you have a decent cube, you can kind of flex the cube a little bit to make that in one motion. So that first part is you M, and you pull it over, and then you're fixing your cross. So you can do that in one kind of quick motion. And if you move your hand just a little bit, like if you move this row to the back a little bit as you're pushing this up, you can really you can cut some corners and you do it pretty quick. So you pull it out and then you, you to it. So that does require a double cock on your fingers because basically you're taking it out and then you're doing another U2, but you, know, it's, you can do it relatively quickly. And then you insert it with by pushing up, your fingers just sitting here, pushing and pulling the whole time. So now it's on the other side, we're going to push it up, pull it in, and then fix your cross. So I adjust my hand a little bit to be sitting right here, and then I push, get out of the way, U2, insert it. So you can do this pretty quick once you have a decent cube and once you kind of teach your fingers how to do it because once when you're pulling this pair out well, you don't have to push it all the way up. You can push it halfway up and then this one halfway up and now it's it's kind of a corner cut on that end. So you're doing a kind of a backward corner cut. So you don't have to push it all the way up. You can kind of slightly push it up just, to, just enough to get it out and then solve. So that's 
that's how you execute it once again. I move my hand a little bit so I can do some push and pulls on this. Move it up, over, down, U2, up, down. Something like that. And at speed. An alternative to this case is if you do, if you have a cube that doesn't really work well, then moves, or if that's a little more difficult to remember, there is an easier way to solve this case. I don't use it because I think it's a little more inefficient. I just think it's a little slower. But the other way to solve this case is basically what we're going to do is we're going to do a sexy move, but we're going to do that with a the whole block. So we'll take this whole block out with a sexy move, and then we're going to do an M move. To fix most of our cross, and then now you can see it's just a regular insertion, so we can move it over, let this slot up, and then insert. So again, we're going to take this whole block out with a sexy move, M to fix our cross, and then insert this with a parent or regular pair insertion. So what that actually looks like is you orient it like this, and we'll take the block out underneath the kind of square that these are sitting on. So we'll take that block out, do your M move, and then now you can see here's your pair and you just insert the pair like that. So, and that will solve that case. One thing to note on this one is if you notice that you have your this specific case and you have a bar of all the same color and these two are like correctly oriented, then you will get a skip case or it's possible that you'll get a skip case. So the only reason I ever really use the take the block out is if I notice a bar, I'm not even really good enough to see if these two are the same color, but if you notice the bar and these two are opposite colors, then you'll probably get a skip case. So in, in that case, you, you'll take this square out and move and then insert it and then you could possibly get a skip case. So it's something to be aware of. And how you would execute this alternative is you take your block out and then instead of just pulling down with an in move, I always just move the entire block down and this one back up. And then you reinsert your block like that. So you take this out, M, insert. So again, we'll take this block out, M, insert. Take this block out, M, enter it. And at speed. So that's it for the all corners oriented cases. The next set of cases we're going to cover are the C cases, and they look like a C on the top, so that's why they're called the C cases. And there's two of them, so we will go over both of these cases in the next video. If you have any questions or comments on the current video, leave it in the description below. And until then, happy cubing. Thank you.